Hi there everybody and welcome back to another episode of Prestige Liquids. My name is Andrew. Thank you for joining me with again on yet another episode. Um, if you're new to the channel then please consider hitting that, subs that subscribe button, um, hitting the like button and also the bell notification so that you can stay up to date with all coming or say all upcoming um, content whether that be reviews, live streams or whatever it might whatever it may be. Uh, so today I am reviewing a whiskey that has been um, put out by an Australian distillery. Um, they are based in South Australia um, and they are known as the, the 23rd Street uh, Distillery. Now, this is a, I guess like a little bit of an experiment that, um, that they thought of to do. Um, I came across this little bottle, I say this bottle in one of our local bottle shops and I said it caught my eye straight away, very awesome looking um, label. I think the awesome thing is, is that I think for a lot of their products that they release, they tend to get um, their labels from local artists, so that's a really awesome way of supporting like, the local community and all that kind of thing. Fantastic idea and it just looks fantastic. Now, I'm just going to pour a little bit of this, so bear with me. Just a splash. Now, reading the, um, the label on this particular bottle caught my attention straight away. Now, this is not a whiskey that is made by the 23rd Street Distillery. This, has been some, this is a, a whiskey that has been sourced. Um, they have sourced a scotch and a bourbon and they have blended them together. Now, I do not know um, where they have um, sourced these whiskies from, but that's what they've done. Uh, so yeah, this is what they have called their hybrid whisky. I don't know if you can see that there on the label, probably a bit blurry. But yeah, so that's the 23rd Street Distillery Hybrid Whiskey. Now, let's get on to the, the review and see how we go. Now, the nose is very young, uh, a lot of tree sap notes, sweet, a touch of honey, and quite woody, but uh, by woody I'm going to go along the lines of not so much barrel spice, it smells a lot like a, a fresh green stick. Or maybe like a, a new, like say, pine pine branch that has just fallen off the tree, and you've um, you've snapped it, and you can smell all that um, that sap. Um, that's a very dominant note in this. All right. So another bit of information. Let's see. I should have looked at this a bit beforehand. So this is bottled at forty two point three percent. So a little bit higher than the standard forty. Um, Again, let's have a look at that colour as well. Very light, so I'm assuming no added colour, but I'm not too sure about that. But yeah, say so it's a nice colour. Very clean. Alright, so let's get onto the onto the palette. Cheers. Now, for me, this is where this whiskey kind of loses it. Um, the nose is very interesting, the nose is quite enjoyable, but the, unfortunately the taste, it falls short. And yeah, so it's, it's very thin, not much of a mouthfeel. Um, the flavor is very sweet, so unfortunately, say for me, um, I'm not a very big fan of overly sweet things. So for those of you who have a, a sweet tooth, this is probably aimed a little bit more towards you. And I think the other, the other issue I have is that it kind of doesn't know what it wants to be. I think the concept is great, but I don't know, maybe just those particular types of um, the bourbon and the scotch that have been blended don't, for me anyway, do not really seem to go all that well together. As mentioned, it's a very light, watery um, palette, um, very much a um, honey notes, Again, that very strong um, tree sap uh, is coming through again. Not very, um, not very spicy. There really isn't a whole much going on. And that's the same with the finish as well. Um, very light, very mellow. 
Um, it's not a horrible aftertaste. Um, it's quite clean, so that's a good thing. It is a very smooth whiskey. But um, for me, unfortunately, this is definitely not something that I will get again. Um, and I think that's pretty much one thing that I wanted to mention more so about this particular whiskey. Now, uh, I have tried their gin, um, I guess their standard release gin, and that is absolutely incredible. I mean, if you are a gin fan, then I highly recommend, um, let's say, the 23rd Street Distillery Gin. So, having said that, it seems to me that the, the product that they make themselves is of high quality and very good. Now, this is something that has been sourced, it has not been made by them. Uh, and to be honest, it should not be a reflection of what they can put out. Um, they do have a, a single malt, of, say their own single malt that they have. Um, one day I hope to be able to try that. I really would like to because if, if their gin is anything to go by, then I have a feeling that that particular single malt will be, say, say quite nice and of exceptional quality. But unfortunately, guys, say for this one for me is not getting my vote. All right, see, so I will leave it at that. As mentioned at the start of the video, please, if you're new to the channel, then um, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification. And again, if you're wanting to know more about Australian whiskies, then please keep on following, keep on watching, and I look forward to seeing you all again on the next video. Get this.